welcome to a new weekly video as you will see from the titles today i am back with my favorites of the month which this time are quite a big amount of items um i do feel like when we come to october up to about yeah october and about december i always have more favorites i don't know if it's because there's more seasonal stuff and things like that but uh, there was a lot this month I have liked and I am going to share everything with you now. I'm going to get stuck in right away. If you are watching my vlogs, you will have seen some of those items in the past in my vlogs. But um, they've been added to my favourites, definitely. I'm going to start with the most seasonal thing, which also breaks so then I can take it out of the way. It's this Yankee Candle... Uh, little ghost uh, candle holder so you have a little ghost you know that's breakable and then when you lift it there's a little uh, glass that fits uh, one of their votive candles you could put a tea light one as well and it comes on a little um, what do you call this a stand a little platey kind of thing and then you can put that over the top and it you can see the candle there but at least that's that's quite handy because it's just easier than to light the candle um we bought this um in the yankee store and we were just going for candles and owen spotted it and he said oh that looks really nice and i thought it would be nice on our fireplace uh, which is currently decorated for halloween so that's what we got i think it was 6.99 or maybe 5.99 i can't remember but um it was definitely under 10 pounds and i thought it's a nice little addition to our Halloween decorations. I really, really like it. And as you know, I really like to use candles. I don't actually use them a lot, but not as much uh, during the summer time. But coming autumn, winter, I love candles a lot. Uh, next thing, we're going to stick with the cozy kind of theme. Uh, these socks. I got these in my uh, body box, but... They are amazing. So I've kept the label on, the, on purpose. They are from a brand called Braintree. Uh, and they are bamboo socks. I do find them extremely comfortable. And I like... I will tell you what I like the most about them. They are very soft. That's the first thing. Uh, also, they don't make your feet sweat. But they still keep your feet warm. And I don't like it when socks are too tight around... Um, that part but when i hit the most when they are tight around that part and this part so i don't know if it's just this pattern or if it's all of them but the way the knit is that can stretch very well and it's very comfortable to wear so there you go socks i have a thing for socks i do like socks a lot and um i, could, I like a good pair of comfy socks so these I love and I'm definitely going to check. I haven't had a chance yet, but I had kept this um, to check the website uh, if I could. These are the size 47. I'm a size 8 and I can still fit in those uh, quite nicely. So, yeah, if you're a size 8, you'll probably still be fine in those. So, it's the second cozy thing. And then one thing I'm afraid you might not be able to get, but I had to share it because I have been loving this. We went to an orchard uh, open day uh, three weeks ago or so and there was a beekeeper there and he was selling some honey which was really nice to have some and also this. So this is made with lavender and rosemary, uh, cocoa butter, coconut oil, beeswax and essential oils and you can use that. So I've been using that on cuts. I have been using that on like, do you know when you get like really dry parts in your hands, like there and on that, on elbows, um, just cr it's great and also one thing that's good for migraines if you rub it at your temples, really nice. So if this is locally made, so I couldn't really give you all the details I'm afraid, it smells amazing and this thing is just great for everything. I love to use essential oils and natural products in general. And I do like to, so, uh, to support local businesses, so this one was, I've just, and this is going to last, I mean, I've been using this for almost a month and it's like almost full still. So you just need very little and it goes a very long way, so I'm probably going to have that. The um, beekeeper said to me, you could keep this for two, three years, no problem, um, because of all the oils in it, so that's great. Next thing, what will I do? Will I keep, I'll stay with the kind of beauty stuff. Um, 
something I have used in the past but I hadn't used for a while and I've gone back to and I'm so glad I did is the Rehab Shampoo from Lush lately I think it's because the weather is changing a lot my hair was getting greasy very quickly again and I found that I had to wash it more often so I decided to go for a shampoo to more like a cleansing shampoo so this is the one I went for um, and this has been amazing it's great for regulating the scalp but in a gentle way and um, it hasn't made my scalp dry or anything but it has uh, really improved how quickly my hair gets greasy again uh, I went for a smaller bottle I got this one and the I Love Juicy to try both and decide which one I would get a bigger bottle of for now I do love, love a lot of their shampoos but I find I have to switch them around quite often to make sure I get all the benefits from them and at the moment the Rehab shampoo is what is working the best for me the smell, so I'm quite bad at this you know describing smells and it definitely has some citrusy um uh, thing to hit i'll tell you what there is there if no it doesn't give you okay well, i can read the whole thing but there's fresh mango juice uh kiwi pineapple it's a very fruity scent for sure it, to me when I smell that I feel like it's going to be full of vitamins if you drank that as a smoothie you would, you would have a lot of energy that's the best way I can describe it so yeah this one has been really helping me a lot oh, I don't know where to go next um, I'm going to move on to stationery because it's kind of a three four in one so as you may know I love my planners and I've been using a planner which is the Erin Condren planner which do I have one there? Yes, this is my new one for next year. So it's like a planner with rings like this. I had actually two of those, uh, one for work and one for personal life. But I was always carrying around two planners. So I tried something out, which I will have to adjust again. But at the minute, I have done that. I got this new planner, which is a Carpe Diem planner, which I absolutely love. This color is called Robin's Egg. And it's one of those ring planners. So this one is an A5. You get loads of pockets uh, everywhere there to put all your things then these are the pages the one that the front that it comes with so this is what I've been now using for work but I've also removed the pages from my older planner and put um, the pages in here so there's an example um, but what I don't like is that the pages stick out a little bit when I close it uh, so I will not be continuing that for the next year. I've only removed the last month of this year uh, But I will be definitely keeping this planner for my work uh, Using those pages and I will keep my new one as it is and um, just the way I showed you So I'll go back to having two planners, but I find that this having that for work I can you know like proof of postage and I can have everything at hand and it does look very pretty. I also have having the rings that can open means I can also add documents in. I have a punch for that. So um, if you're looking for a good A5 planner, this Carpe Diem planner is amazing. It comes in a lot of different colors. If you want to have a better look at it, um, there is a really in-depth overview video of this planner on my other channel, which is Hello Poupette. Uh, I will link it down below, but if you want to have a better look at it, um, that's you can see that then. Um, because this planner is quite big, I had been on the lookout for a personal size planner. And I was planning on getting one from Chris for Christmas, and then a very good offer popped up. Now, I got two. You could explain to get around so this is my, my my main one so as you can see it's smaller so it's more portable I got this one second hand in one of the Facebook groups I'm in um, and I do like the fact that uh, you can person it's, it's the same it's a ring planner this one is the color crush by Webster's pages um, this color is called light pink although it's not that light pink but um, <clears throat> the rest I've made myself for inside for now it's not didn't come with a planner but um, this is I wanted something more portable which will have the important things that I can keep in my handbag so for example when I'm on the go I don't have to bring two of my planners like this I can just have a little one with the important things so if I'm out and about and somebody asks me oh are you free on that day instead of saying well let me get home and get back to you then I can just take out my little planner out of my handbag and look inside it um, 
the thing the ideal thing i would like to do is to be able to uh, change the cover um with the seasons <laughs> so do you know the way some people love to have loads of handbags or loads of shoes or lots of clothes or things like that i don't like these things what i like though is planners and i would love to be able to accessorize the outside of my planner to match my mood and different things so I got this one at first, which is not the first color I would have picked, but it was on offer and it was really good. Um, and I don't mind that things are second hand because they are very durable things and I like when things have a history, so that's good. And then a um, few days later, this popped out <laughs> and this was an even better offer. So it, ha it has a bit more wear and tear, but um, it is very, you know, as you can see, very nice. No, there's nothing inside because this is just the cover. This was protections for the rings. <laughs> Uh, but um, yes, I am now the proud owner of two of them and I, yes, I am planning to make my collection bigger but I'm not planning on buying them full price when they are brand new I'm planning on keeping an eye out and when I see somebody selling their old ones to then just trick myself to some sometimes so planner, planner, both color crush, Webster's Pages planner um, let's stay in the theme of planners I like to decorate this part. No, this is not finished, but uh, I do like some uh, paper clips like these. And these are made by a shop called uh, Doodle and Dot Shop on Etsy, which I will link down below. And I got quite a few clips from them lately because they are very affordable and they are very well made. And I absolutely love them. So these are three of them. There is a panda, a unicorn, and a shooting star. And then, because I will obviously be decorating my planners in a Christmas-themed way, um, I started to get, whenever I was seeing them, some more Christmassy ones, which I will show you now. Hey. So, the first one is a bow, and it's a vinyl material, and it's glittery, and it's pretty, and I absolutely love this. The second one is a little Rudolph, which is also super, super cute. And the third one I have for now is a little Christmas tree. So as you can imagine, these will look super Christmassy in the cover of my planner. And I, they look really nice. You could really use those as bookmarks for a book you're reading as well, if you're not into planners. But um, I had to share them because they've been one of my really favorite things. And also... I promise it's the last planner related thing if you don't do planners but I had been on the lookout for a pencil case to hold the things I use daily for planning and this is what I came up with uh, it is a pencil case that I paid eight pounds for on Amazon so it's very inexpensive it's called the I don't know how to pronounce this the Lihit tab L I H I T uh, L A B Lihit Lab pencil case um, I believe it's a Japanese brand and what I like about it is that well, you have pockets at the front which I don't really use but then when you open it you get uh, compartments to put all your pens or your little accessories and then you have this flap where that's where I've put I keep my paper clips I don't use uh, in the meantime so I'm going to show you I'm going to tidy them up at the same time uh, you could put anything you want really there there's a lot of room uh, in those pockets there you go and then at the back there i keep kind of all the rest of the stuff so there's like wet erase marker scissors pencils more pens the band for planner there you go so that contains a lot of things and it's something i can keep you know at hand it doesn't take that much room but all my planning uh supplies not all of them, but the one I use daily that I want to carry around with me are in one place and it's quite handy. So there you go. It comes in loads of different colors as well, if you're looking at that. Uh, I've seen people use that for sewing, like as a sewing case. Um, I, I'm going to get another one to use as a portable pharmacy for going on holidays. You can really use that for a lot of different things. And then two more things which are definitely not planner related. So the first one is this ikea basket i think it was 10 pounds it comes in green and in white i have one of each it has like a wooden handle 
and it's sold in the kitchen section. I have been using that to keep uh, fruit and veg in and I do really like it for that because it's very breathable so nothing goes you know, moldy but it's also really good for carrying a lot of items. Uh, we went When we went to that orchard I ended up putting all the apples we got in that and it filled the thing and you could really carry it around. Uh, the boys love to play with it and use it as a helmet, I have no idea why Owen says that it can be a beekeeper that way or it can be part of a space suit. So if you have children, it's a very versatile item. You could use it as a costume for Halloween as well. So you can see it is very flattering. Um, anyway, I just, I just think for the price, these are really good items. Um, I am even contemplating getting another one to put all my planners in with my... I'm going to show you what I mean. See, so you put your planners in all your planners because if you're like me you have a few and uh, your pencil case and let's say you're in your office and you want to go to your living room with all your planner essentials they're all there in a little uh, lovely basket and you can carry that around so I think next time I go to Ikea I think we're getting a third one of those for my planner stuff I'm using a toolbox at the moment from Ikea too because Ikea is my friend for things like that but um, yeah that's great Last but not least, this is something that has kind of been, not ruling my life, but it's been a part of my life every single day since I got it. It's this DVD. Um, it's a Davina 5 week fit DVD and uh, the way it works is that every day, I'm going to show you the inside, you have a 5 week program in there. So there is different workouts there. Each workout lasts 7 minutes but you have an additional three minutes that's a bit harder at the end of it if you want to make it harder for yourself that that day if you're feeling very uh, motivated which i thought i would never do but after a week and a half of doing it i ended up doing the extra three minutes because i liked it which is weird from me um the level of this is good if you are a beginner because i considering myself one uh you get some high intensity interval workout you get some leg training, box fit, abs, there's a 20 min one minute uh, ultimate fitness challenge which is kind of everything together. There's something called the full uh, body fat stripper, it's basically a full body workout. And there is a stretching one, you also get um, some warm ups and you have the stretching for if you want to cool down. Um, I have been doing that so now I am on day... day, day, day. Um, day four of the second week so i've done two and uh, one and a half weeks uh in the first week i decided i would try something to see how efficient it is for me now bear in mind i have a lot of weight to lose and uh, this will vary a lot based on what you eat and also your body to start with um i am in a place right now where i want to start losing weight again uh, but I am not, I don't have the motivation food wise, so I'm not eating badly, but I'm not, I'm, if I want to have some chocolate, I will have some chocolate, and if I want to have some cake, I will have some cake, but I decided to do the workouts for a full week, weigh myself at the start and at the end of that week to see just with the workout on, I don't know, extra, I do walk during the day, but, uh, following that workout for a week without really looking at what I'm eating, um, to see you know what it would bring me i have lost 1.3 kilos in that first week just based on the workout so to me this is brilliant uh i'm not expecting to lose that much every week because it was the first you know it was a shock to my body probably to start exercising regularly um i have been so far this week exercising almost every single day and it makes me feel great but at the same time it's not very time consuming because i'm quite overweight i'm always super conscious about uh, putting too much uh, impact on my joints and damage them um, and i do feel like this is great for that because it is something that is a progressive workout so you start on you know the basis and then you build it up in intensity or in how many of turn you do it a week so for example the first week there was three days rest so you were working out four days a week Second week, it's two days rest. Third week, only one. Then week four, two. And week five, two. So um, it's 
there's a logical progression in it which i think makes it really good i on the first day i did it i couldn't do some of the moves at all and a week later i can do them really well so uh i would really recommend this dvd uh, and i'm really not a fitness fanatic at all you know i i would stay away from it if i could but it's important for my my, my health right now um so that's all my favorites of the month it's probably quite a long video because it was a lot but um, I wanted to end this video just mentioning something. Uh, if you watched my little box review from two weeks ago, you would have seen that I had got an item that I had twice uh, in this year. And I contacted my little box and I've literally just received a little gift from them. I got a little handwritten note um, saying, uh, as promised inside, you will find a little surprise from us. We hope you like it, enjoy. I contacted them and they told me that um, the hand cream I got twice was so popular they decided to get it again uh, and that they didn't mean for me to receive it twice uh, and they would send a little surprise to apologize and they've stuck to their word and I've received the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Reconstructor um, it's like a um, not a, not, not a conditioner but like more like a treatment i love the smell of the aussie stuff i really love it but most of the time it has a lot of um um silicones in it but um i will making somebody around me if i'm not using it myself benefit from this and i do like the fact that they put everything right and they are always i've never had an issue with that company and i do find that every time i've contacted them about something they've always done everything they could to make sure i was pleased with it and that doesn't happen with every company and i think it's very important to mention it when uh, it happens so that's the end of this video um i would like to congratulate you if you made it to the end because it's probably very long i will see you next week for another video i'm not entirely sure what it will be um i guess it depends when the next little box arrives but um i hope you have a nice week don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and yes i have a lovely week i will see you next week bye